Francesco Martinotti. She has marked a 216 and a half in the first section of the NRHA Derby Open Finals. Francesco, you had an awesome run, man. You've only had this horse a week. It just flew in from Italy. Eduardo Bernardelli, the owner, showed it in the non-pro. Had a little trouble. You guys late entered it. What'd you think of your run, man? It looked pretty good. Yeah, I'm really happy for the run. Oh, you're really happy. The horse was really, really with me in the show. Uh, stopped really good, circle good, stir good. The first derby in the stage for me, and make the final be good. I mean, really now you have the luxury of riding with Dwayne Latimer and Tom McCutcheon every day. Last night I saw you getting ready and Dwayne was really giving you a lot of advice. What's it like being able to have Dwayne Latimer, $2 million rider, in your corner? What's that like? Oh, I'm, I won't say thank you to Dwayne and Tom because uh, they watch me every time. Uh, uh, yesterday night I'm so excited because Dwayne sitting in the, in the arena and watch me. Uh, all the time and teach me and uh, say yes and no or more or <laughs> and I met before ride every day with two big trainers like this and I, I, I hope I try to learn a lot. All right now I've asked you this question before we've talked about this. How are you dealing with your swamp ass? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> yes, it's humid here. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> now, so in Italy, you don't have the high no. humidity like this, right? No, no, no. Like it's completely different. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah completely. We're here at the 2016 NRHA Derby, the, the level four, second section of the Derby Finals just got finished. NRHA professional Peter DeFries. Peter, you didn't make the finals, but you're up there in the stands watching. You think the judges got it right? Yeah, I think so. It was pretty good finals. I mean, Casey had a really good run, and I mean, everybody was going for it, but I think, I think he was the way. Now, you have a turn down for what hat on. Were you, were you rooting for Brian Bell the whole time? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, turn down for what? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you, you've made the finals several times. Um, you know how hard it is to make the finals at these major events. What's it like when you don't make the finals? Do you have to stay, uh, sit in the stands and watch your friends all go in there and show? It's terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's probably one of the worst feelings ever, actually. <laughs> Worst feelings ever. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, you, you've made the NRBC finals. You made the Derby finals, the Maturity finals. What? Uh, what's your dream in the show, fam? What, what's your dream of doing? Winning the Maturity. Winning the Maturity. I, I was thinking about that today. I just want to run through that gate one time and take my hat off and win, be winning something. <laughs> and, and do the run for the road. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We're here at the conclusion of the NRHA Open Derby Finals with NRHA professional Gunny Matheson. Gunny, you didn't make the finals, which is unfortunate, but you were up there in the stands watching the show. Do you think the judges got it right? I think the judges got it right. I think they were, uh, I, I don't think it was an easy judged event, but the winner was clean, he was good. I mean, he didn't run out of gas. A lot of horses ran out of gas. Of you, know, you talk about the heat. You know, at the Derby, we're always dealing with a lot of heat, high humidity. What do you do with the upper threat, the higher threat? I'm getting swamp bass. Swamp bass is tough. Only, and it's tough for most people because they wear underwear, okay? I go commando. You go commando, and your swamp bass is minimal, okay? I think uh, NRJ professional Troy Hikes also goes to commando as well, right? I would have a clue. I would not have a clue. Okay, but I do, okay? Wait, wait a minute. Ladies that don't wear bras, I go commando. Now, you've been in the finals many times. Uh, you've, you've been in the NRBC finals, the Derby finals, the Trudy finals. You were very close at the NRBC thing. Just missed it here. What's it like when you have a few few shows that you're so close that you don't quite make it? How, how tough is that? It's so frustrating to do everything right in your own head and to have it not work. I can't, I can't explain to you how frustrating it is. And it is so rewarding sometimes 
when you do everything on the phone, and it works out great. It doesn't happen, but it's when it happens.